everyone. In this video, I will talk about the transition table and the state graph. So we have to draw the transition table and also the state graph for the circuit as you can see here. So our circuit is a JK flip-flop. I mean, it consists of JK... Um, so in our circuit, we have two JK flip-flops. And the JK flip-flop, the next state of the JK flip-flop, the um, equation will be J Q prime plus K prime Q. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to write the equations for the next state of each of the flip-flops and also the um, equation for the output. And then with respect to those um, equations that you found out, then you have to... Um, draw the transition table and also the state graph. So we have two flip-flops, right? So we have to have two next state equations. So Q1 plus and Q2 plus. So based on this equation over here, <clears throat> I will call it equation number one. So based on equation number one, Q1 plus will be J1 Q1 prime plus k1 prime q1 okay then if you look at the circuit you can see that what is j1 is equal to x and q2 q1 prime plus what is k1 k1 is equal to x okay so you'll substitute it here so we're going to have x1 prime q1 <coughs> all right now we'll do um, the same procedure for Q2 plus. So Q2 plus, uh, according to equation number one, we're going to have J2 Q2 prime plus K2 prime Q2. So what is J2? J2 is equal to X Q1 prime, if you look at the circuit. And so we have another Q2 prime here. So x, q1 prime, q2 prime, plus what is k2? k2 is also equal to x, so we're going to have x prime, q2. All right, and then what is z? So z is equal to x, x or q2. And then we should know the equation for x or, which is x, q2 prime, plus x prime, q2. Okay, now we will use these three equations in order to uh, fill out our um, transition table. Okay, so for the transition table from the beginning, I will write the states that we have because after this, um, we have to draw the state graph. So we're going to have four different states. Why are we having four different states? Because we do have two flip-flops. And two flip-flops, which is Q1, Q2, they're going to have four different states, right? So this is the present state. Then the next states, so if you look at the equation for <clears throat> next states, you can see that they depend on X as well, right? And actually, we don't have a 1 over here. It's just X prime. It is x prime q1. So our next state depends on x. So we have q1 plus q2 plus, and then when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 1, right? And then the column which is for the output, and our output is clearly depending on x, right? So x is 0 and x is 1. Okay. Now, how can we do that? So, with respect to what we have in this column here as a present state, we have to calculate what would be the next state for each of the flip-flops with respect to the input x. Okay? So, I'll do a couple of them here. So, we have q1 equal to 0, q2 equal to 0, right? So, we have q1, 0, Q2, 0, which is the first state over here, okay? So whenever Q, X is equal to 0, okay, it means that I have to fill in 
this um, this cell here. Okay, so let's see. For example, Q1 plus. We know that Q1 plus is x, Q2, Q1 prime. x is 0, so this first term will be 0. And Q1 is also 0, so the second term will be also equal to 0. So Q1 plus is 0. And then what is Q2 plus? Let's see. We have an x. This would be 0. Q2 is 0, so 0, 0. Right? Now, what if x is equal to 1? So if x is equal to 1, the first Q1 plus will be also equal to 0. Again, equal to 0. But what would be Q2 plus? Let's see. So we have x equal to 1. So we have 1 here. And then Q1 and Q2 are both 0. So the primes would be 1. So here we have a 1. And then we have x prime, which is 0. So this term is 0. So we have 0, 1. Okay? Now, we'll go to the next state. Um, let's do the output first. So for the output of this state, Q1 and Q2 are both equal to 0, right? So z, when x is equal to 0, is equal to 0. But when x is equal to 1, is it 1 or 0? So let's see that. So if x is equal to 1, Q2 prime is also equal to 1, right? So this term, this term here will be equal to 1, all right? This term is 0, so we're going to have a 1 here. All right, okay, let's do the same procedure for the next state, and then I think you'll be able to do the rest um, yourself. So I'll just fill in the table. All right, so when Q1 is 0 and Q2 is um, 1, so Q1, 0, Q2 is 1. When x is equal to 0, let's see what is Q1 plus. So x is equal to 0, so this first term goes to 0 automatically. What about the second term? This is also equal to 0 because Q1 is 0. So we know Q1 plus is 0. What about Q2 plus? So we have x equal to 0, so this term is equal to 0. What about this one? This is 1, 1, so we're going to have a 1 here. When x is equal to 1, let's see what, what will happen. So this first term here would be 1 because x is 1, Q2 is 1, Q1 prime is 1, so we have a 1 here. <clears throat> and then we have a 0 here, so Q1 plus is 1. And what about Q2 plus? So x is 1, Q1 prime is 1, but Q2 prime is 0, so this first term is 0. And here we're going to have 0, so 1, 0. Okay, now let's see what will be the output. Z is equal to x, Q2 prime, plus x prime, Q2. So this is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0. If x is equal to 1. So um, so if x is equal to 1, we have a 1 here, but a 0 here, and then 0 here, a 1 here. So that will give us a 0, right? But if x is equal to 0, what will happen? We have a 0 here, we have a 0 here, and then we have a 1 here, and a 1 here. So we're going to have a 1. All right? So the same procedure should be done for the rest of the states, S2 and S3. So I'll just fill in the table. If you have any questions, you can um, leave it in the comments down below about the rest that I'm filling in. But we should use the same procedure. So you should use what we have for the present state, Q1 and Q2, substituted in these three equations with respect to the x's to find the output and the next states of the flip-flops. All right? Okay, now that we have the state transition um, table, we can easily draw the state graph. So as I said before in class, it doesn't matter um, where you put these states. You have to just make sure that you are um, using all your states. S3 and here I have S1. Okay, so we'll start from state S0. So you see that state S0 is my 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, right? So when I am at 0, 0, and x is equal to 0, I will remain at 0, 0, right? So that would give me a loop with a 0, and my z is also equal to 0, okay? So this format here is x over z. Alright? So, 
Again, when I'm at a zero and x is equal to one, where would I go? I would go to zero one. What is zero one? It is state s one. So if x is equal to one, I would go to state s one. What is z? Z is equal to one. Right now, so I um look at all the states for uh, all the possibilities for state s zero. Now I'm at s one. So I'm at zero one. If x is equal to zero. I would remain at S1, right? I would remain at 0, 1. So 0, what would be Z? Z is equal to 1 here, okay? If X is equal to 1, I would go to 1, 0. What is 1, 0? It is S3. So X is equal to 1, but Z is equal to 0, okay? Now, let's see, now that I went to state S3, let's first uh, see what is happening at S3. So if I'm at S3 and X is equal to 0, I'm going to stay at S3, right? Because if X is 0, we're here, 1, 0, which is S3, and Z is also equal to 0, okay? But if X is equal to 1, I'm going to go back all the way to S0. Why? Because it will go back to 0, 0 with the output of 1. We have here. So we examined a state S0, S1, and S3. Now we have to go to a state S2. If we are in state S2, which is 1, 1, and X is equal to 0, we're going to be remaining at S2. So that would give me a 0 and a 1, which is the output here. And if x is equal to 1, we're going to go to state 0, 0, which is S0. Okay, and that is 1. And the output you can see here is equal to 1. Oh, I did a mistake here, I think. So, sorry, the output is 0 here because we are at state S2. Okay, so I hope you understood what happened here. Let me just explain this one once more. So I was at S2 and then X was equal to one. So when I'm at S2, which is this row over here, when X is equal to one, I would go back to state S0, right? And my Z here is equal to zero. All right, so this is my state graph for this circuit over here. So if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. And see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.